Hi, my name is Ruth Ann, and I'd like to go through a short presentation on an idea I have called the Sea Zone. So where it started is where I live, in, North in Northwest Portland's Old Town, Chinatown neighborhood. Here's a quick look to give you an idea if you're unfamiliar with the district. And the concept is to put a Chinese-style fresh produce market in a zone within the new Chinese-Japanese historical district of Old Town Chinatown. In other words, this is a historical district within the Old Town Chinatown neighborhood, and it's the district I live in. So the C zone is a place defined by three major buildings the planned Multnomah County Health Department, and two nearby buildings in the new Chinese-Japanese Historical District, the one I live in, the Pacific Tower Apartments, and the Portland Development Commission. This zone represents a cluster of residents and employees with common needs. You need to know that there is not a fresh carrot in the district, and basic services really don't exist much at all in the neighborhood. It's a fresh food desert. So let me explain the sea zone a little more in detail. A new building is going in in our neighborhood, and it's the Multnomah County Health Department. And this is a view of how the building will sit. And I'm going to define the zone as kind of a V that incorporates and connects this new building with the new Chinatown, Japan district. Another way to look at this is using a Google map, looking south. To start here, and you can see the building isn't there yet, but it soon will be over the next couple years, and to travel over uh, south to the Pacific Tower Apartments. Actually, to the right of it, you can also see uh, the Old Town Loft building. There are many residents living in these two buildings. And then going over south again to the Portland Development Commission, the PDC building. So I think these three buildings is anchors to my C zone. So the principle here is pretty easy, that buildings, be they homes or apartments or businesses, uh, equal employees and residents, and they equal customers uh, for green products and services, particularly to start with food. The C zone is really about not just carrots, but about customers. New health department uh, employees, there'll be hundreds of them, 350. Uh, the residents of major apartment buildings and a co-op um, with hundreds of mixed income residents. And the Portland Development Commission itself with over 100 employees. There are many more businesses and residences in the zone, in the district, and in the neighborhood. When it comes to the zone, indeed, to the district and the neighborhood, there is no shortage of storefronts, uh, both in historical buildings and in the newer buildings, for a Chinese-style green grocer, all within walking distance of the many employees and residents who live in the district and the neighborhood. At the same time that I'm recommending this, there's a five-year action plan in play which really tries to achieve three strategic objectives for the neighborhood, and that is to attract investment uh, and activate key properties and improve district connectivity, promote business vitality by increasing employment and retail activity, and aligning resources to build local capacity for improving district livability. For the project, I see uh, several prospective sponsors. Uh, nonprofit leadership with business acumen and a development focus. The Mercy Corps folks are doing a great job with their alliance with the uh, Portland Growers in providing marketing support for new and refugee farmers. Uh, their effort is designed to help growers reach profitable direct market outlets. 
uh, like farmer markets, and I would uh, suggest um, a green grocer. Finally, and there's the PDC. They have a community livability grant program um, where they have dedicated dollars uh, to improving buildings and uh, to combine those with in-kind contributions uh, from nonprofit sponsoring organizations and property owners. So I see this as a really strategic program in, the, in being the way it is for sustainability. It addresses people, in fact, it builds on people in place, residents and employees. It's prosperity in terms of economic development with definitely a cultural diversity uh, point of view, uh, supporting historic preservation and building community. And plan it, uh, local farm fresh food, uh, all in short walking distance. I'd love to hear from anyone with comments. Uh, I'm Ruth Ann Barrett. I'm a sustainability advocate. I'm a resident and business owner uh, right here on Flanders and 4th Avenue. Give me a call, 415-377-1835. Oh, and P.S. If you've not ever been in this neighborhood and really don't have a sense of what I'm talking about, I use Google Maps to do a walk around. It's four minutes long. If you'd really like a better idea of what I'm talking about, the neighborhood and the district, just click on the video. Thanks and bye. The C zone is defined by three major buildings. The first is the Multnomah Health Department headquarters. Here you can see the site. And let's take a second to look around it. From the front of the building, we'll proceed one block down 6th Avenue. We'll turn left and go one block over to 5th Avenue. As we proceed down 5th from Glisten to Flanders, there's a wide variety of buildings. And as we come to the Flanders corner, you'll see the architectural firm on the corner and down one block uh, the two um, residences, uh, the one on the right is the Pacific Tower Apartments and on the left uh, is the uh, loft building. We'll spend a few seconds taking a look around. Proceeding back down uh, Flanders to 5th, we turn left and proceed towards the Portland Development Commission.
Here again, you will see a mix of businesses and apartments. I hope that gives you a better idea of the C zone and the district and neighborhood. Thank you.